everyone, in this video I am trying a product for the first time and it's quite an iconic product. It's the new version of the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is now called Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream and uh, the formula is new. I don't really know a lot about the difference of it because I basically have never used it before which is my biggest beauty blogger crime I think but if you're interested in seeing a swatch of this how it applies finding out a little bit more please keep watching so basically this is a cream bronzer it from what I can gather the new addition to the formula is coconut oil which I think I can probably, that might be what I can smell in there. Um, it's unique, they describe it as a unique, lightweight, easy to blend cream to gel bronzer. It gives a velvety finish. It is supposed to have a mattifying effect, which I did notice, but you'll see that when I apply it later in the video. Also, I'll show you a swatch. Um, it's a lovely creamy formula, really easy to blend, I found. Um, it's got a blend of waxes and powders for effortless application. Also contains silica and powders for a smoothing effect, which... Um, I do think it's very flattering on the skin, I have to say. And uh, light reflecting pigments for a radiant healthy glow. And it's non-commodogenic, which you probably should note considering that it contains coconut oil, which I know that people are always worry that it blocks pores. So this is promises to not block pores, which is exciting. Next, I'm going to go to where I've just got my base on so that you can see me apply this for the very first time in my entire life and beauty blogging career. Then I'll show you a swatch. So rewind to much less makeup than this. Right, so... This is quite exciting because I have never ever used this product before ever and everyone goes on about it all the time. So I'm just going to do it with completely fresh eyes because I don't know, I can't compare it to the old formula. Um, just to let you know what I've got on my skin already, I've done my base. I've got on the Victoria Beckham Augustinus Bader Priming Moisturiser. Shade and Illuminate from Tom Ford Foundation, uh, shade Porcelain. And also I've got on the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer, which I've just been testing. I'm not sure what I think about it yet. I think I still prefer my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away, which is much more hydrating, I think, anyway, at the moment. Right, so I'm going to go straight in. So far I've, I've, um, I've basically played a little bit with the product. Um, and I'll show you a close-up swatch later on in the video. I've got this Clinique um, foundation buffing brush to try it with. So obviously I haven't used this before. I'm slightly nervous because cream bronzers can be good and bad. But this is has been such an iconic product that I'm feeling fairly confident. Let's try it. So I'm just going to go into the pan and start just... I'm going to use it as if it was a powder bronzer. I mean, I quite, I love bronzing because I love a light base. Mm, it smells really nice, almost like chocolatey-ish. What I might just do is try um, another brush as well just because I like I really want to find out what the perfect brush is for this but obviously it's not going to happen in one go I'm going to try the Bobbi Brown foundation brush as well which is, this is just washed well dry, washed and dried that might, I feel like this could be better whereas that one is more kind of diff, duo length duo fibre, this is one length. It blends really nicely. Oh, it, it definitely feels really nice. I think it's slightly mattifying, which is fine because I can add in the glow. Like a bit of bronze there on my nose. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, that looks really nice. It feels very light on the skin, I have to say. Right, so what I'm going to do is, because I want to try out this for like a really quick, easy, working from home look, I'm going to just use a crease brush. This is the Reva, and just literally use it as a cream eyeshadow as well into that crease. Because I do love bronzer on my lids. Run a bit under. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. So that's a really nice quick look. Let me finish my makeup real quick i love the packaging it's kind of cool i've always secretly wanted one of these i'm just gonna do a little bit of my corrector and charlotte tilbury love this stuff a lot and a bit of my fave concealer Lovely. This is a Bare Minerals blush and contour that I appear to be using for concealer, but you know, it's nice to multitask. I'm just going to go in a bit more with that. Oh, really nice. Probably could really build that up as well. But I'm just going to leave it light and simple. Um, I'm going to do a bit of blush. Love this by Terry. CC Brightening Palette. I just go over all the shades and just dust that onto my cheeks. I'm going to do a tiny bit of Modern Mercury from the new Bronze Goddess collection from Estee Lauder. This is going to be featured, it's on the blog already and it's going to be featured in a video coming up really soon so stay tuned for that quick bit of mascara this is by Terry Lash Expert twist brush I do like this mascara though but normally I'd take a bit more time over it and use it on the stretched out one I'll show you quick and really fan the lashes out first oh I do love this mascara it's so good as you can see it's pretty eye-opening and then what I would do is twist up the brush a shorter which then adds a bit more volume really nice Love it. Right, and a bit of brow gel. This is my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows, which is the clear and the clear one. Um, bit quick bit of that just to. I've just tinted my brows. I'll link the brow that video, but um, so I'm just using the clear, but this just keeps them under control. And then finish with my Clay de Peau, I think it's Luminous, Luminizing Lip Colour. I'll put all the info of what I'm using in the description box. I love this. Gorgeous, juicy lips. And that's it. So, um, loving the bronzing look. I might just go in with a tiny bit more bronze because, because I can. And I really like it just to kind of like add a bit more definition oh 
it smells really, really, really nice. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> right, so that's the that's the full makeup look. Really enjoyed that. I think it's a really perfect summer staple, I have to say. And also great because it's got those mattifying powders, so it'll be good if you if the temperature rises basically and you end up a bit sweaty. So that should hopefully hold in terms of not getting too oily and greasy. And also of, of course you can add in your own extra glow if you want like I did with my Modern Mercury. Um, just going to show you a swatch next so get ready for that. As you can see it's a really nice smooth easy to blend formula so um, I do think it's going to be, I mean obviously I can't compare it to the old formula but from what I can gather having spoken to my friends I think it's easier to blend as well and the colour is slightly cooler so less orangey. I mean, I have had a little look online just for swatches from the past, and it does seem to be very slightly cooler toned, although still a very similar shade to the iconic original uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I actually have bought a few other bits from Chanel as well, including the new mascara and some kind of healthy glow drop things, which I can't remember what they're called. So I'm going to be playing with those too. So make sure you check out reallyre.com for those. I'm going to also have a blog post with all the information that I'm sharing in this video, including static swatches as well. So make sure you check that out. I'll link it in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.